The government is to give small businesses interest-free loans to help them with the economic turmoil post-lockdown. The Small Business Cash Flow Loan Scheme will provide assistance of up to $100,000 to firms employing 50 or fewer full-time employees. However, the opposition says it doesn't go far enough and may be too little too late. Here's our political reporter, Charlie Drever. The government is throwing another lifeline to businesses as they grapple with plummeting bottom lines. The Finance Minister Grant Robertson says the scheme will be a 100% government loan. We're backing these businesses because we know how important they are to our economy. We also know that our small and medium enterprises have not been able to access the support that they need from other sources. The scheme will provide $10,000 to every firm and in addition $1,800 per equivalent full-time employee. The loan will be interest-free for the first year before being bumped up to 3% for up to five years. Mr Robertson says the government wanted to get money to SMEs as soon as possible while lending in a responsible way but admits it doesn't come without risk. Obviously we would want to see as many small businesses as possible repay but there is a risk that for some of them that they may not be able to come through the other side of COVID-19 and be able to pay this debt. So we'll factor that in to our calculations about what it is, uh, what's the fiscal cost. Grant Robertson says businesses who apply will need to prove they are viable. Business New Zealand Chief Executive Kirk Hope says the scheme is more generous than others operating around the world and is just part of a number of tools available. So if you have the wage subsidy, the interest-free loan scheme, the business finance guarantee scheme and the opportunity for any bank lending, that's, that's a serious uh, set of tools for, for small and medium-sized businesses to help them manage their cash flow. Kirk Hope says the key thing now will be for businesses to get back and operating. Managing Director of Iron Duke Partners, Phil O'Reilly, says the government has got a very difficult task ahead of them, but he thinks they've got the balance right. You can either lend some money to businesses and, and run the risk that they'll fall over and won't pay it back in some way, or the business just falls over anyway and doesn't pay tax for the next 10 years. You know, So there's, a, there's always going to be a balancing act. Albeit it has come with some delay. The challenge, of course, is that the, the, sub, the, the, uh, the loan package has come out very late. I mean, it's now six or seven weeks since we all knew that we might go into lockdown. So you know, you've already had potentially a lot of businesses that would have been viable six or seven weeks ago no longer viable. And in that context, it's a very good thing the government's done, but I think they've acted pretty late here. National Small Business spokesperson Todd McClay agrees the scheme has come too late and says even then it still doesn't hit the mark. You've got to realise that a lot of these companies are saying they think that when they do get to open, you know, their trade, their turnover may only be 30 or 40 per cent of what it was. They are in financial stress at the moment. The government offering an interest free loan does nothing more than pile debt on. Uh, what they need is cash directly injected into them now. Todd McClay says the government should be saying every small business in New Zealand needs to be viable and that they need targeted grants to get them through. Businesses can make loan applications to IRD from May 12. From Parliament, for Checkpoint, Core Charlie Drever, DNA.